Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, at Suzu. In today's clip we will talk about, information about Baba Vanga Vertical Bar Life Vertical Bar Date of Death Vertical Bar Work Vertical Bar Ratings, Vertical Bar Healing Vertical Bar Memory Vertical Bar Other Vanga, in Bulgarian be January the 31st 1911, D August the 11th 1996, born Vangelia Pandeva Dimitrova, after marriage Vangelia Gute or Ovia, was a Bulgarian blind diviner and herbal healer, who spent most of his life in the Rupite area in the Kazu Mountains, Bulgaria. Her followers were convinced that she possessed paranormal abilities. Life, childhood and youth. Vanga was born in Sturmica, then in the Ottoman Empire, later successively in the Kingdom of Bulgaria, the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, again in Bulgaria, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and today in North Macedonia. During the Second Bulgarian Annexation of the region, 1941-1944, he moved to Petrici, then and now in Bulgaria. She was a premature baby, who had many health problems. In accordance with local tradition, the child was not given a name until it was deemed fit to survive. When the baby cried out for the first time, a midwife went out into the street and asked a stranger for a name. The foreigner proposed the name Andromach, Andromach, but it was rejected as too Greek. So the second proposal of the foreigner Vangelia, Vangelis, Greek, Beta Alpha Gamma Gamma Epsilon Lambda Alpha, short for Epsilon Upsilon Alpha Gamma Gamma Epsilon Lambda Alpha, Herald of Good News, formed from the words Epsilon Upsilon, with the meaning of good and Gamma Gamma Epsilon Lambda Omicron meaning messenger, was accepted because, although still a Greek name, it was popular in the region. The house from Petrici. As a child, Vangelia was an ordinary girl. Her father was drafted into the Bulgarian army during the First World War, and her mother died when Vanga was quite young which made the girl dependent on neighbors for a long time. Vanga was intelligent, with blue eyes and blonde hair. Her inclinations began to emerge when she was playing healer, a game she loved. She would prescribe some herbs to her friends, who claimed to be sick. Her father, being a widower, remarried, thus providing a stepmother to his daughter. A turning point in her life was a storm that lifted Vanga and threw her into a field. This claim has not been verified by meteorological records or other observations from that time. She was found after a long search very frightened, her eyes covered with sand and dust, so that she could not open them because of the pain. No cure worked. He only had money for a partial operation, so he went blind. In 1925 Vanga was taken to a school for the blind in the town of Zeman, Serbia, where she spent the next three years. Here she learned to read braille, play the piano, as well as knit, cook, or clean. After the death of her stepmother, she had to return home to take care of her younger siblings. Her family was very poor so she had to work all day. Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria, who in 1942 visited Baba Vanga. In 1939, Vanga contracted pleurisy, although she had been quite healthy in previous years. The doctor's opinion was that she would soon die, but she quickly recovered. The grave of Baba Vanga from Rupite during World War II Vanga attracted many believers who visited her, hoping to get clues as to whether their relatives were still alive or to find out details about where they had died. On April 8, 1942, Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria visited her. Maturity On May 10, 1942, Vanga married Dimitar Gusterov, a man from a village near Petrici, who came to ask her about his brother's killers, but she had to promise him that he would not seek revenge. Shortly before the marriage, Dimitar and Vanga moved to Petrici, where she quickly became well known. Dimitar was later drafted into the Bulgarian army as Bulgaria annexed northern Greece. He fell ill again in 1947 fell into alcoholism and finally died in April 1962. The death, Vanga died on August 11, 1996. Her funeral drew large crowds, including many dignitaries. Her house in Petrici was turned into a museum, which opened its doors on May 5, 2008. The work, Vanga was illiterate or semi-illiterate. She has not written any book. Her speech was difficult to understand and she spoke a heavy dialect. Recent TV recordings use subtitles for the Bulgarian audience. What she said or may have said is information captured by members of the recording crews. Later numerous esoteric books about her life and predictions were written. Vanga claimed that her extraordinary abilities had something to do with the presence of invisible creatures, but she could not clearly explain their origin. According to her, Evryon's life was standing in front of her. It was like a movie for her, from birth to death. But the change of what was written a generation was from beyond her power according to her own words. Some followers say it predicted the beginning of the breakup of the Soviet Union, the Chernobyl disaster, Boris Yeltsin's election victory, the date of Stalin's death, the sinking of the Russian submarine Kursk, the 9-11's attacks, and Veselin Topolev's victory in the World Chess Tournament. However, 
Their relatives contradict these claims ratings. Gyorgy Lozanov, director of the Institute of Sextology and Paraphysicology in Sofia, who evaluated Vanga's predictions, found her predictive abilities to be about 80% accurate and strong in finding lost relatives and friends. The Institute of Sextology and Parapsychology, where about 30 people work, is funded by the Bulgarian government. Lozanov described more than 7,000 cases of correct predictions belonging to Vanga. Prof. Velisiko Dobryanov, who heads the Institute of Sextology, published a book called Quantitative Study of the Vanga Phenomenon. He evaluated 18 interviews that Vanga gave to visitors in which 823 messages were recorded. Of these 445 were true, 288 alternative or ambiguous and 90 incorrect. From this data the researcher deduced a certain index regarding Vanga's telepathic ability, which was 0.7 on average. This value proves that Vanga could not obtain the information by conventional methods. By contrast the index of ordinary people, claiming to be fortune tellers was 0.2. Attempts were also made to intentionally mislead Vanga experimentally by some specially appointed people, but Vanga denounced them quickly on these. According to Veliko Dobrynov, Vanga's correctness rate was between 58-86%. In his studies, academician Yuri Negrobitsky of the International Academy of Science speaks of a percentage of 70-80%. Other, Vanga tried to prophesy about newly born or unborn children. She said she was seeing and talking to people who died hundreds of years ago. Vanga talked about the future, although she did not like to do so. According to his words, in 200 years, man will make contact with brothers from other worlds. She said that many aliens have been living on Earth for years. They came from the planet, which in their language is called Vamfim, and is the third planet from Earth. According to the Russian website Pravda.ru, Vanga predicted that a third world war would begin in the year 2010. Critical. The official website of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church announced that Vissarion, a monk from a men's community on Mount Athos, Greece, will release a book exposing the pseudo-idols Vanga and Donov. The book wants to highlight the distinction between the occult and genuine Christianity. Vanga is an unhappy woman, tortured by the forces of darkness, believes the monk Vissarion. The Bible contains provisions regarding the death penalty for those who call up the spirits of the dead but if a man or woman calls up the spirit of the dead, or deals in divination, they shall be put to death, stone them to death, let their blood be upon them healings. Apart from prophets, Vanga was considered to be a healer, but only on the basis of medicinal plants. According to her, people should only heal themselves with the herbs of the country where they live. She prescribed washes with an infusion of herbs and spices, claiming that they had a certain beneficial effect on the skin. Vanga was not opposed to modern medicine, although she believed that taking too many drugs was bad, because, this closes the doors through which nature restores balance in the body with the help of herbs, controversies. Communist Tatar Zhivkov, a close friend of Baba Vanga. Vanga was known to be close to the government led by Tatar Zhivkov, and on several occasions she appeared on public television with him and other high-ranking officials of the Bulgarian Communist Party. It was claimed that Vanga was using data collected by the secret services to gain the trust of her visitors. To date, this aspect is still under investigation. In popular culture, Vangelia, a 24-episode biographical show with mystical elements, was commissioned in 2013 by Pervicanal. The supposed predictions of the clairvoyant, the political speculations about them, and their criticism continued to appear in the media in different countries and in different languages. Her image is particularly popular in Eastern Europe, especially in the Balkans and in Russia. Russian publications related to the mysterious prophecy are numerous. The Great Encyclopedia of Vanga is a Russian online project dedicated to her memory. On May 5, 2008, a museum dedicated to her was opened in Vanga's house in Petrici. In 2011, on the centenary of Vanga's birth in Rupita, his statue was found weighing 400 kilograms. In 2014, Bulgaria celebrated the 20th anniversary of the opening of the temple. YouTube channel at Suzu thank you for watching this video clip to the end. I hope it was a video clip from which you learned something. Understand, if you like this video clip, don't forget asterisk 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 subscribe, give a like, a share on social networks, so your friends know cut this clip.